Hey everyone, so this week seems to have been the week of PP filters and today I'm going to be showing you another one and it's this gorgeous PP filter from Jacob Capello, Premier Beta 5. Now this is on his Patreon site at the moment, it is going to go free to download as soon as it's out of development but you can also get some of the earlier versions free on Race Department, all the links will be in the description and just before we get to the new car for this video do remember to check out the rest of the channel, over 400 a set of course of video guides, links and two tutorials so do check that out and here we are with the new car for today this is of course the DW Marcus Mantis GT3 by De Wallace and this is a gorgeous car currently at version 2.02 .02. and this is a free download again the link will be in the description The Marcos comes with 500 brake horsepower, 613 newton meters of torque, only weighing under 1100 kilograms, 180 miles an hour and not 16.4 seconds. Very, very nice, quick car. It's put together really well. Obviously, this is part of the Gorilla Mods GT collection. And if you've not got this yet, grab it. The link is in the description. Let's jump onto my desktop then and as you can see I've got the Premier 5.0 and I've extracted it and I'm just going to show you what's included in this as I do with all of the PP filters and any files that I'm installing manually. So when we open up the folder structure here we have extension and we have system. If we go into extension you see you've got the Premier Pure extension there for Pure so to make this look as good as possible. You've also got the system piece as well which is config, PP filters, Pure scripts and the Premier 5.0. So this is Premier 5.0 Beta 2.1. I know there was a hot fix put in. So as I said earlier, you can grab this from the Patreon side. It's a couple of pounds a month, or you can get one of the free versions of Race Department. Either way, you're getting a fantastic product. The latest version though has a number of great new features, and we're going to go through those later on. All I'm going to do is just drag and drop both this extension and system folder into the root of my set of course directory. It doesn't copy over anything because it's the first time I've installed this version and we are ready to go. So let's jump onto Imola with this gorgeous Marcos. And Imola is one of my go-to tracks. I just think it looks really pretty with all the rain effects and the night effects. And we're gonna be looking at those specifically on this PP filter because that's where I think this really comes into its own. This is my personal preference, uh, but I hope you agree with me and I'm gonna show you in this video. So let's bring our PP filter selection up and you can see I'm running pure cam it's really bright and vibrant it's what I use for most of my videos because it's bright and vibrant I'm just going to change the weather slightly and then we are going to look at changing the actual PP filter and we're going to see what differences we can see so if we use the drop down selector here and of course if you are new to a set of course so this is where all your PP filters will be we're just going to go all the way down and we're going to find Premiere and there it is and you can see it says new there too so we're just going to click on Premiere 5.0 and then we're going to see what happens so obviously the screen's going to do all its different changes and here we go we are absolutely up and running with that now now you can change the exposure on a lot of pp filters on this one it doesn't make any difference it's all controlled by pure so just moving that slider doesn't do anything just wanted to show you that so let's now go into the pure config which is obviously where all the important parts are for any of these pp filters that are specifically for pure now clicking on the pp filter tab here I just wanted to show you these top two sections here because this is something that I've not really gone through in any videos. So these sliders you can use to change again the look and feel of this base PP filter. I wouldn't recommend that you change these but you can do it if you want to. Also in the green there you can see we're using the latest script for Premiere so that's all good. These sliders here make a significant difference and if you do get into trouble with these remember you can always reset pure as well and that's on the front page of the main page the reset pure button so have a good look at these and I'm just going to show you a few of these sliders as I move them and you can see depending on what you're doing and what track you're on especially when you're starting to race in daylight to night time to wet especially wet at night time you may find that some of these are really useful so something to have a look at there too but this PP filter that I've got today one of the ways that I use it is at night time and in the wet and I'm going to show you how good it looks later on in the video 
Also, if you are getting any trouble with Pure, do check on the main tab, those green pieces at the top, to make sure that you are actually using all the right settings in CSP. And you can see you've got the reset Pure button there, as I said earlier. So let's just close that down now and take a look at Premiere in the daylight as a standard PP filter. I think Jacob's done a really good job on this filter and again it's all subjective but isn't it great that we can have all these different options to get a set of course that looking really realistic how we want them to but I'm going to change things up a bit now I said that night time and rain is I think where this PP filter really comes into its own so I'm just going to go into rain debug you can find this obviously in your drive menu on the right hand side I am using the latest version of CSP preview so do remember that's what you need to get the rain effects it's not sol or pure it's CSP preview you can get that off Ilya's Patreon page and the link is always in my descriptions. I do know there's lots of different styles of PP filters that are out there at the moment, but this kind of natural look to try and get really realistic shadows and colors and all the tone in the right way significantly improves a set of Corsa for me and in this rain scenario that we've got here you can see how good it looks if you step away from your screen you could almost be looking at something real but it gets even better so what I'm going to do now is change some of the other weather so let's just bring the planner up here because I've got it as a kind of shower at the moment I've used rain debug but that's change the look and feel now of the clouds and I've actually put it on heavy rain and so everything is going to be looking like we're in a storm and again I do like these natural colors that we've got here let's take a look around This is looking really good. So let's take a look now at night time. So I'm gonna change it up. And again, the great thing about Imola is we've got some really nice lighting effects on here. So what do you think to what it looks like now? Very different to some of the standard PP filters that I use, but this when you're racing as well in the car with the rain hitting the windscreen and these kind of colors and tones around you, absolutely brilliant again this shot here shows how natural all the reflections look with the lighting and the tone mapping and i've used premiere quite a lot in the past for certain kinds of races but this is almost going to become one of my go-to's for these night wet races and of course that's what makes us set of course a good too the flexibility and customization so not bad for a 10 year old game I think we've seen enough of the rain now so we're going to switch that off and we're just going to take a look at night time without the rain remember again if you want external rain you need a version of csp preview and the link that i've got in the description it's a couple of pounds a month to drop on Ilya's patreon page and download the latest one so do support all the modders that i've shown in the video today it's really important whether it's a free or paid mod they're making this game so much better for us okay back into rain debug and i'm going to mess about with the sliders take all the rain off but still keep a little bit of wetness on the ground and a little bit of water so we can still see some of those reflections now this is looking really good what do you think but we haven't quite finished yet because the shot at the beginning of the video is this next piece here so what i'm going to do is go to dawn with the beautiful pure sky domes we've got this premier beta 2.1 running and we've got this gorgeous car at Imola this is really good I don't think there's much better racing graphics on a set of Corsa at the moment so tell me what you think in the comments remember to give the video a like if you do like the video and if you're not subscribed yet why not it's completely free and I'd love to have you on board see you soon guys